Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to math. Today we're going to graph quadratic equations, okay? We've kind of been graphing lately in a few concepts. We're going to get a little more into graphing. First, the concept for today is called graph quadratic functions, okay? Quadratic functions usually when you graph them are a U. Okay, because of the x and the square. So you have a number. Usually the equation is a x squared plus bx plus c. Okay, the reason why it's called quadratics is because of the square here. Makes usually a u graph. Okay, if this is negative, it's usually going down. Okay. Today, I'm going to give you a little equation, which, I mean, it's not really an equation, it's just a step that you have to do in order to find the vertex of the quadratic. The equation you're going to need, or the little step, is negative b, 2a, okay? That's to find your x-axis of the vertex, okay? So all you have to know is this part mostly, okay? Just keep in mind, quadratics are usually written as ax squared bx c, okay? The formula we're gonna use today, or the step we're gonna use today is called, it's negative b over 2a, which is a way to find the x-axis of the vertex. Make sure you write everything down on your notes. So we can get started on the first assignment. We're gonna need, again, this little step here, okay? I'm gonna bring it upstairs. So we're gonna have it up here, just so we can remember, negative b over 2a, okay? That's to find x-axis of the vertex. X-vertex, okay? The equation for today is, or the problem we're gonna use today is, x squared, or f of x, first of all, you guys remember what f of x is? It's another way of saying what, right? f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, that's the problem for today. Now that we have that problem. Oh no, my rest of markers are gone. All right, we're left with brown and black for now. Let's go with the black again. Let's start off by, again, doing that little step we have to do to solve for x vertex. If you guys remember, when there's no number in front of an x, it's a 1, right? That 1 is your a, okay? The 6, your b, and the 8 is the c. Let me step off. Let me step off the screen a little to go get some more markers, and I'll be back. Give me a second. <laughs> Got a few more markers now that we can work with. Anyways, back to our example. We have A, B, and C. We can plug in B because we know what B is. It's six, right? Notice that there's a negative in front, of the, uh, in front of the equation. If it's positive here, then your new problem for B is negative 6. Because it's positive here. Positive times negative is negative. If this would have been a negative, negative times negative would have been positive. Since it's positive, we have negative 6. Ugh, I was going to draw another B. Negative 6 over 
2a, okay? 2 times a. What is the number that is a? It's 1, right? The 1 in front of the x squared. So 1. Notice that it's positive. There's no really sign there. So whatever it is, you bring it down with it. 2 times 1 is 2. So this becomes negative 6 over 2, which technically really becomes 2 can go into 6 3 times. Positive times negative is negative. So your answer for x vertex is negative 3. Okay? Now that we have that, negative 3. That's as far as we're going to go today. Okay? All we're doing today is just solving our our x vertex. Next class, we're actually gonna find, solve for that x vertex and actually graph the equation, okay? So all you're doing today is just labeling it A, B, and C using the equation for x vertex to solve for it. In this case, our answer is negative three, okay? If you have any questions, guys, let me know. Make sure you have everything written down on your notes. If you need more time, pause the video, okay? If not, I'm gonna go ahead and erase it so I can write down your assignment. All right, remember, we're only solving for the x of the vertex, okay, of the origin of the lowest point or the highest point, depending on if it goes down or up, okay? The problem for today for you guys is, let's use purple. f of x equals negative x squared, notice that it's a negative, okay? minus 2x plus 2, okay? Again, remember, you're only solving for the x vertex for today. Next class, we're gonna actually step it further. So here's the first example. Label it a, b, and c. Your second one is f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 3, okay? That's your second example. Again, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna label it A, B, and C. You're gonna solve for the x vertex. Next class, we're actually again gonna find the y and then we're gonna start off graphing it. But for today, very simple. Just get the hang of that formula of the negative b over 2a. So there's two problems. Make sure you use Tell me your answers as soon as you are watching the video and I'll be waiting for your email.